Hey, what's up guys and welcome to a new Let's Play! Today we're playing a little indie game called To The Moon. Uh, I don't know a whole lot about this game, I only know what I've read on the Steam page and what I've heard from people around the internet. And supposedly it's a pretty short game, but it's a very good game from what I've heard and it's very emotional and sad and whatnot, so I'm very interested in seeing how this pans out. Uh, but before we start, I have to mention that I am recording this with um, OBS. So, and it's my first time using OBS, so I don't know how the quality will turn out. I'm, it's a learning experience for me. And also, uh, I have a mechanical keyboard. And it might be possible that you hear key presses during the game, because, well, I don't, I don't have, like, the very clicky switches on it but they're still pretty loud at times. So, um, without further ado, let's jump into it. So, the first thing I see is that I, I, I kind of like the graphics and then art style, if this is what the game is looking like during gameplay. Also, I just noticed that it might be a little bit stretched because I record in 1080p and the game isn't really in a 16x9 aspect ratio, but it's more of 4x3, so I apologize if it's a little bit stretched, but I'm sure it's alright. Oh. Car crash. Where were you looking, Neil? Well, excuse me for heroically evading that squirrel coming out of nowhere. You ran over it anyways. No, oh, poor, poor, poor thing. Oh. You ran over it and hit the tree. Look, don't worry. It's a company car. Because that makes it much better. Are you kidding me? The boss is going to kill us. Hmm. We'll just say I was saving a puppy. I don't know why his name just, uh, or his voice just changed, but... He likes puppies, right? Yeah, just bear with me. Uh, he's more of a cat person. Why does the world have to be so complicated? Fine. Whatever furball he fancies, crisis averted. Good. Go read it on your report later. Let's grab the equipment from the car and move already. Oh, this a point and click game. Receive the equipment! Got the sucker, let's roll! Right click toggle menu or... Alright, so we have characters, Dr. Neil Watts and Dr. Eva Rosaline. Dr. Neil Watts is a technician specialist at the Sigmund Corporation. And Dr. Rosaline is a senior memory traversal agent, also for the Sigmund Corporation. And yeah, we don't have any notes. We do uh, have an item though. Items. With a box this heavy, what's inside has to be important. Alright. So, alright. So we get to the site where we go. So let's go here, I guess. The sign to the house points the other way. Oh, how kind of it to exist. So I'm guessing we can't go that way. Okay. Sure. Hey, wait! Don't forget the car! Just wanted to see if you'd remember. How thoughtful of you. I don't think locking the car is all that useful now. It's broken down anyways, I think. 
so we can walk around a little bit. Or not. Alright. So my first guess is that this is a fairly linear game. Yeah, probably. Alright, just let's just follow the path then and see where it leads us, I guess. Who put a boulder here? Maybe it's their security system. Cucumbers! We don't have time for this fluff. Let's try pushing it out of the way. Maybe we could find a tree branch to jack it with. Wait. Or we could just call it a night and blame it on that. Um. So, yeah, let's try pushing it by hand. All right, on three. One, two, three! Holy crap! I... I don't even... What was that? Not a boulder, that's for sure. Um... We need to get going for now. We'll... We'll figure out... Uh, we'll figure that thing out later. Right. Alright. Right, let's continue up the path. Um. Thank you. Hmm, this is a nice place. Oh, we're here. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't do kids. Never mind that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Not a bad place to retire at, huh? I could do better. Night shifts. Love him or hate him. You know the answer, you stupid owl. It's probably gonna be another all-nighter, you know? I know. And I doubt they have any coffee. Shut up. Okay. And the ocean waves will sing lullabies. Not through your blattering, they won't. And your eyelids will... Don't forget the equipment, moron! Yeah, Dr. Watts seems to be a bit of a jerk. I don't get paid enough for this. Stupid woman commanding me around like he's... like she's the boss... Blah, blah, blah. Act 1. I never told anyone, but I've always thought they were... Lighthouses. For some reason I read Righteousness. Oh well. Dr. Watts and Dr. Rosaline, I presume? Thanks for coming on such short notice. That's okay. I tend to be bad at predicting death as, death, deaths as well. Are you the patient's daughter? Oh no, I'm just his caretaker. Whee! And these are my children, Sarah and Tommy. It's not exactly a 9 to 5 job, so Johnny lets us live here. I suppose this Johnny is our man? Johnny? Listen, if it's a kid we're dealing with, I don't think we're the ones you want. No, no. He just prefers to be called that. He's upstairs right now with his medical doctor. Come with me. Come on, grab that case and let's go. 
When my back breaks one day, I'll sue you with the insurance claim. Really? I have to pick it up manually? Received a equipment. Alright, let's head upstairs before I drop this. But we can also go over here, so if possible I would like to explore the house a little bit first. The patient is waiting upstairs, better not waste... well, never mind then. Uh, I, I will try to keep these episodes around the 15 minutes mark, if I can, because I've noticed that... Keep walking. Yes, go upstairs. Because I've noticed that maybe 20 minutes is a bit long. Okay, they're gone! Whoever gets the first... Whoever gets there first gets to play the melody. No fair, you pushed me. Did not. Whatever, you get the boring two notes anyways. Sounds like my song. I kind of like it. Those kids are pretty good for their age. Hey, you're the one who want who who said there was no time to waste. And incidentally, I'm the one who's carrying the weight of a small Metroid. Metroid? Meteoroid. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, come on. Um, so we can just... Ah. Ready to set up? Uh, let's look around first. Gee, you know... I think I'd like to carry this excruciatingly heavy object around some more. Thanks for asking, though. Can we talk to the medical doctor? He's unresponsive at this point, but by the looks of things he's still consciously hanging on. It's hard to say how long you'll have, but I would hurry. Um, can we go here first, or...? Hey, we can. So, we have a bathroom over here? I don't know why this is significant or interesting in any way. Alright, let's leave. I said le leave, I said. Alright, let's put down our equipment. Uh, yeah, let's set the machine down. Yes, it will be just a moment. Are you sure a common household power outlet is sufficient? No worries. We're the experts. Arrogant. Oh crap. Standard procedures. Just keeping you on your toes. Yeah, right. How's he doing? Not so well. If I were to say, he's got just a day or two left. That's plenty of time. So, you two can grant him any wish, huh? To try, at least. But we always succeed, because we're awesome. So, what's the wish? The moon. What? The moon? The moon. He wants to go to the moon. The Jesus just keep on getting crazier, huh? So, can you do it? Depends. She meant to say, yes. Why don't you tell us about our client here? Next time, because we're out of time. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.
Goodbye.